This one flew. I don't know where from. It landed there though. I don't know where that house came from. Ivan was, uh, was basically a combination of wind and water. Uh, hurricanes have a life of their own. Some are wind events, some are water events, and some are combination. Uh, Ivan was a combination, but primarily was water. Well, it got pretty hairy. Uh, we had probably hurricane force winds with Katrina and real high tides that come up in the yard. Uh, we've had probably three, three and a half foot seas in a little creek uh, that we live on. One tree went down over here, and what was left of Ivan just about went with a tree to come through. So it wasn't near as bad as Ivan, but it, it still got pretty hairy. But the house never moved. We never felt anything. It heard the wind. Some of our friends' houses that have been here for 70, 80 years are completely nothing left, gone. Like, TV does not do justice to the devastation that has happened here. When you, you came in, you saw a lot of devastation and all, but you've just seen some of the lesser damaged places than we have. Some are completely gone. There's no businesses left. Most of the homes are gone. But everybody says we'll rebuild it. It was probably the best place on earth to live. I mean, this was a beautiful subdivision. It really was. I wish you could have seen it before all this destruction. We enforced concrete, our entryway, and we made it this way because of the possibility of a flood. You know, we built it above the 14-foot flood level, but this time was worse than ever. This is the water mark of how much water we had on the floor here of the home. We built the home so we can live on this floor entirely and the guest rooms are all upstairs. There was a gigantic hurricane coming through the Gulf and we were on the northeast side of it, which is always the worst, and it was pushing a 29-foot surge, wave surge, in front of it. And the wave came ashore and then the wind hammered the coast for approximately 12 hours before it let up any. The wind was supposedly came ashore right here at 145 miles an hour this is actually, with tornadoes spinning out up to 200. This is actually where the hurricane hit. They had a lot of problems in New Orleans because the Flooding. levees broke. But if it hadn't been for the levees, New Orleans wouldn't have any damage because all the storm hit here. The winds hit here. As you can see, the, the home structurally is pretty much intact inside. Not, not much wind damage, but um, everything was uh, hurt by the rising water or, or the wind-blown water. All the windows held satisfactorily. Some of them got uh, leakage from the water being elevated, but none of them got blown out or broken at all. The only damage that we had was from Ivan, and it was just a few shingles off the roof. Uh, that was it. Everything else was perfect. No, no damage for Katrina and no damage for Rita. Now, the only damage that we sustained was uh, we had two pieces of our uh, exterior railing around the deck. But that was the only uh, damage. The, the noise that hurricanes make, I don't care what shape your house is, it is a little spooky to stay in a house during a hurricane and probably the reason that we started staying here during the hurricanes is that the city officials don't let us back on this island for two or three days even though you may have had no damage which we have not had and now we know how strong this house is I, I wouldn't give it a second thought they hadn't even moved in their brand new house and, that, and all the windows blew out of it after Ivan, which was our major hurricane, and Rita, we had branches down during Rita also. When we could get here, and we live within walking distance, when we could get here, we walked in and there was not even condensation in the skylights. This building was so tight and so dry. No seam ruptures, nothing at all on up here. We had Francis, Ivan, and Jean. And this year we had Wilma. Jean was definitely the worst. Hurricane Jean last September um, came through here and this Deltec home stood up like Fort Knox. We lost 
two shingles on the roof. That was our damage. And our neighbors next door lost their houses, and they lost their living ability on the other side of us, and we had no damage at all. It, it was amazing. We have confidence in the house. Every house on that um, area is completely gone. Even a beautiful brand new houses. This was all houses. But these houses were brand new on the side over here. Those two hasn't even the people uh, haven't even sold it yet. It was for sale. And these people moved in here just not even a year ago. The same for these people. I had uh, off the bay, not out of the Gulf, but off the bay approximately 10 feet of water under this house. We had things that were in a kitchen and in, up in here. Floated all around here, all around this way until we came in here. I have passed out more Dell Tech literature and shown our little scrapbook of from where we started putting up the first home to where we've had our first Tuesday night jam in here, which was New Year's Eve. And everyone that comes through has gone, wow. This is incredible. Dell Tech has a product that has really piqued the interest of everyone in this area being in such a hurricane prone belt. I think a house should be a like a gem in a setting. I don't like a house that takes up the whole lot. It gives me a view of the river and it also gives me a view into my backyard and, and the, the large trees back there. It was something I could build myself and uh, it has also been extremely uh, wind resistant the last two years during the hurricanes we've had. And I think it's just a very pleasing shape for a house. We like just everything about our Delta Tech home. We like the, the roominess, the design that you can do yourself indoors the roof design, the overhang, we just like the decks, we just like it all. The main reason I have a Dell Tech is because I just like the way it, it, it looks and freedom from worrying about uh, destruction during winds seems to be an increasingly important uh, factor in lifestyle. But if I didn't like the way it looked, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have gotten it. I did several customizing features on my home to make it the way I wanted to live. Uh, I built a fireplace on the inside and I covered it with the local rock that was dug out of the ground here. On the outside I covered the chimney with coquina and also there's a, a, a fireplace on the outside that's actually a barbecue pit. I have the, the, the certain knowledge of exactly what the way that house is built and what, what, it, what it is and uh, that, that's worth something to me anyway. So we planned this particular one with glass all on this side so we could face the ocean. And when we're in our living room or our dining room or the family room, we have a 180 degree glass wall. Uh, we're extremely happy with our decision to put a metal roof on. I like the way it looks in the neighborhood. I really do. It, it, it adds something different to the regular square house neighborhood. When I built this house, I didn't want any carpet in it because carpet molds, it's hard to clean, dogs mess it up and I just don't like it so uh, I wanted to have ceramic floor in here there's a, a rectangular section off the circle of the typical Dell Tech that's a stairwell and that is an entryway onto the house and it also uh, made it possible to put a generous stairway in there there's a bay window on the front uh, the original purpose was to give the dogs a place to sit and look out but as it turns out it gives a great view from the kitchen area where when you're cooking or working in the kitchen to see down uh, the road that the house is on and and to the river. Everything. <laughs> we like everything about it. Um, we like the different shape of the house, the different things that you can do inside with the rooms. We like not being a cookie cutter house on the outside. And as you can see, we use our home, our Dell Tech home as a retail place, a retail music store. The back room right over there is what we call, that's where the big boys hang out. We have got collectible guitars everywhere from guitars that have been signed by Willie Nelson to Merle Haggard's old guitars, Elvis Presley guitars, 
and we are so secure, as I said before, in our Dell Tech home that <clears throat> we just took the ones that were on an outside wall and put them in cases. Everybody else we left out because we knew that this home was very, very well built and able to withstand. Oh, I, I love the Dell Tech home. It's just so different and um, I just feel that it's the kind of place that we can live on the beach and feel very natural. While it was being built uh, 19 years ago, one of the neighbors from across the street uh, came over and uh, said, you know, I think I'm going to put one of those up in the mountains where I have a lot. My wife actually designed the interior of the house. As you probably know, there are no weight-bearing walls inside a Dell Tech home. All the weight shifted to the outside.